Talk about the emotional anatomy. Is emotions mean what moves you? Mm. Because it's energy in motion. So we have to look at the body. The anatomy of the body is really what we're talking about. When we feel any feeling in our body, mm -hmm. it's happening in the anatomy of the body. And we only translate it collectively as, oh, I'm angry today. Oh, I'm feeling so happy. But it's happening in trillions of cells, different muscles, different tubes, different uh, nerves, different layers of muscle, and layers of skin. And we feel the world through different layers of skin and that information goes through the different layers and you have a reaction. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I touch something that's sharp, I pull back because the sensitivity of my skin informs me and the whole body moves or the whole arm moves and then it, I don't have to think. The mm -hmm. body's already going to do it because it wants to preserve its sense of well-being and survival. So emotional anatomy is looking at the different layers of experience from outside in and from inside out. And that's the real relationship that we have to the world. It's our own relationship to ourself through which we have an expression of this experience to the world. It's not the other person. So how I'm relating to me, if I really pay attention to how I'm relating to me, then I'll be much aware that whatever I'm feeling is me, not you. Mm. But we so easily take for granted that whatever I feel is your problem mm. and you're creating it. But it's really only me. So emotional anatomy is a very uh, uh, important aspect, one of the most important aspects as you learn more about the body to understand this, how it's happening in you and the different psychological and physiological states that are created by our own internal experience and relationship within ourselves. So as we learn that, our relationship with other people also are much more enhanced, we get much more at home because I know me better than you know me mm -hmm. and therefore if you feel that you don't like or like something about me, I know it's only your opinion because I know more about me because I spent more time noticing. <laughs> So that's the way, that's what creates self-confidence. And that gives you the opportunity to move into any country, anywhere, any culture, any belief system and say, this is who I am. And I know it, and if you don't like it, that's okay. Because you have permission to have your experience and your opinion, but that gives me also the right to have my experience and my own opinion. Mm -hmm. But if I need that, need to know me to be able to accept that. Otherwise, I so for so many years learned to uh, feel that my reactions are due to someone else's opinion. So that's about emotional anatomy and it's a very important part of this. And the last bit is the practitioner certification which isn't teaching you more but giving the opportunity to practice what you have learned in a practical way and then the trainer is there to assist you to work on someone outside the group mm -hmm. so that you get some practice mm -hmm. of what you have done under supervision and under assistance, so then we can assess how much you have learned. And because the government accredited course, we have assessments at every level to ensure that what you have taught is being learned and accepted. So, because we are responsible to make sure the students know and assimilate and is, uh, pick up everything that's done in a proper way, mm -hmm. and that's the certification part of it.